technology. Today I will show you how to make a sand sample for triaxial compression test. To perform uh, this test, we need a few tools. Like first one, we need a triaxial base and a split mold. Two O-rings, one silicone grease, and a membrane, and uh, two porosols, and uh, a funnel, and uh, sand. Okay, so our first step is uh, put put silicone grease on the base plating and the top cap, so you get some silicone grease applied to the bottom base and also some silicone grease on the top cap and then place uh, one piece of power stone on top of the base the power stone here can block the sand particles, separate the sand particles, so then the particles will not block the drainage hole. And then put the membrane on, on the base. After you put the membrane, put the O-ray around the base to seal it. And then put the split mode around the membrane. And use this tie to tighten the split mode. And uh, flip the membrane around the top of the mold and make sure with the mold. And then put the o ring on top of the mold to seal the top. After you seal, both top and bottom, we can apply a vacuum. The vacuum will suck the membrane out to the inner wall of this mold. And uh, make sure the inner membrane is sucked back to the inner surface of the split mold. After you have done this, we can put a funnel on top of the split mode and start pour our sand into the split mode. So once you finished pouring the sand in the mold, we can use this hammer to compact the top of the sample so that we can make a denser soil sample. And then make sure the top of the surface is flat. And the next step is to uh, place the, a, the other power stone on top of the sand specimen. And then place this top cap on top of the power stone.
and plugging this tubes. When you reach here, we'll apply another vacuum to the specimen. Open the valve. So the vacuum here goes into the inside of this sample. So now the vacuum is applied in inside the sample and now we can stop the vacuum to the mode. And then gently flip up, up the membrane. and uh, put the O-ray around the top cap and lose the split mode and remove it okay. remove the tie and uh, open the split mode be careful do not disturb your